lovelies. I'm going to be doing another plan with me today and I am basing this one off another Hello Emma Co sheet. Um, last time I did this pastel work right here. This time I'm going a little bit brighter and I'm going to use this sheet right here um, which has this bright purple, a bright blue, and a really bright yellow. Um, they have full boxes with some checklist boxes, some regular chest checklist flags, um, a plan, a workout, um, these little task boxes over here, some blank headers, some labeled headers, and then a bunch of test bubbles and a weekend flag. So these are the colors I'm going to be basing it around. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to white out the bottom and then put down some washi. The washi tape I'm using um, is this scotch washi tape, and this is going to be the purple and the blue coming through um, with a little bit of like a greenish yellow. And then I'm going to be using this yellow kind of aero chevron style. And I'm going to be doing these across the bottom here like usual. So I'm going to go ahead and lay those down and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and laid the washi down and I really like the colors and how they're looking. Um, if you look at them in comparison with the sheet, it's like a perfect match. Um, there are some colors in here like this orange that I'm not going to be using, but I really, really like the way that these go together. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay some headers across the top and then I'm going to lay some checklist flags. Now hers only come with three checklist flags, which is perfect for one side. And I do need some more for the other side because I like them to go all the way across the top. So I'm going to be using Sweet Avis paper headers and I'm going to be using um, this purple and this yellow and maybe this blue. It doesn't quite match up perfectly so we'll see. I might even use this black color because of these glasses right here. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down headers and check flags and I'll be back again. Alright, so I put my headers on. Um, I use the three over here just because they match and then I use the Sweet Avis paper over here. Um, the colors don't match exactly but they're close enough to where it looks nice. Um, for the last blue one, because I don't have any that match, I used black and then I decided to carry the black over to the weekend. Um, that way there's a reason for them both being an odd color. I can use the weekend as an excuse basically. Um, I really do love the colors. They're really bright and cheerful and so far I'm really excited to do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay some full boxes down. Um, like usual I'm going to use these checklists on the two days that I have off because we're getting a lot done. Um, I did to clean. Monday is usually a big cleaning day for me. Um, reorganizing and then a lot of like video planner work. And then Tuesday we are celebrating my fiance's birthday which was on this Sunday. Um, we had a lot planned but we weren't able to get it done because he ended up having to work. So we carried it off to our next day off which would be Tuesday. So I have to go because we have a lot of places we need to stop and take him on his birthday. And then just as you do, Thursday I have it to buy because I do need to run to stores and get some stuff. I need conditioner because I'm all out. Um, I do need to go to like Ulta and Sephora and pick up a few things for one of my videos. And then I also need to stop at like Target, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's and Michael's just to get some more planner things. I also need to order some stickers online. So I'm going to do all of that on Thursday morning. And then Friday is a blank. I'm going to make this a to-do. And then Sunday is blank. I'm going to make this a to-do also um, because I will have a lot to get done those days. So that is the story behind the headers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay the boxes down now. And I do like them to match. boxes in the middle or on the bottom and then I kind of just make them all in a row and make them certain sections. This last time I scattered them around a bit and I think that I want to do that again. So I'm going to take these last three decorative full boxes and I'm just going to kind of scatter them across. Now all of my 
my full boxes are laid down. Um, I'm always looking to try new stickers, by the way. I use these scrapbooks, um, if you've never been here, for full boxes. Um, I don't have a fitness sticker that I really like so far that fits my lifestyle and what I want to do. Um, I want something that has like a workout or a workout symbol and then a blank space to where I can write down what it is. Um, but I also want some that have like a planned workout so I can write 20 minutes on the elliptical, 30 minutes here. And I thought about doing just the fitness bars on top, like a header and then listing it. But I really want a sticker that has like a little symbol on it. Um, there is one by Sweet Kawaii Designs, which I think is really cute, but it is white. And I think it has like blue detailing on it and it's like a hydrate in a workout one. Stuff like that is really neat. I do like that, but I don't think I would want to use the same white one every single time. Um, and I did order those, so I will be having them in my planners. But if anyone knows of a good like fitness box that I could lay down, please let me know um, in the comments below because that is something I've been looking for. Also, if you have like a sticker shop you're starting or a new sticker shop, that you are thinking about beginning and you're not really sure if you want to do it or if I haven't mentioned your stickers before, um, feel free to let me know and I'll definitely go check it out because I'm always looking for new shops um, and new variety of things. So please leave those below and I'll go check them out. I would really love that. Um, so now that the full boxes are down, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put these drink ups that she has in her sheets. I like to use the meal plans. I found out I really like the meal plan ones, especially like enough for the whole entire week. That's something I look for if they have enough something for my week or enough to make a whole week spread off of it without just like a couple things here and there because as you can see, I do like more color than white space. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down some more of these. Tuesday is going to be a to watch day because I have some shows I want to watch. And I also have a movie I want to go to with my fiance for his birthday. I'm going to add another to clean on Sunday here. Does it bug anyone else, these little like clear spaces right here? I feel like the stickers don't stick as well. Also, if you're trying to write, like right here, I'm going to write for my checklist. This is going to drive me absolutely in insane all that stickiness like I love the tabs because they don't pull off but like I can't write on that <laughs> I mean I probably could but it would get all over my hand and that's just I mean that's attractive if you've ever seen that my fiance is off Saturday so we're going to be running some errands that day together things that I don't want to do by myself because I'm one of those people who's really chickeny and I don't like doing things by myself it just makes me feel all weird and lonely and um now I'm gonna take her weekend banner and put it on the weekend. I guess I kind of planned that one out weird, didn't I? Let me go up here for once. I kind of like that on the top. I don't mind. I've never put it across the top like that because I have a fear of covering up the dates. But I don't mind it. It actually looks pretty cute up there on the top. Um, probably should have thought before I put this to clean here and I should have put it on the bottom. Which I might still do. Let's see how repositionable these are. Nope, not very repositionable. So I'm going to leave it. It doesn't bug me when stickers aren't repositionable. Just because you can always like move things around and cover other things up. And it doesn't bug me at all. I'm going to go through and I'm going to write down my little sticker things that we have here. And last time I used her workout flag for a day that I wanted to go to the gym and not do my at-home workouts. I think I'm gonna do the same time, the same thing this time. And I'm actually gonna go on Friday 
and I really like the color look there so I kind of pre-picked that one and I'm gonna go through and do some of these tasks one down some TV bubbles that I want to do. I have down some meal bubbles um, for the meals that I have planned out. Um, I'm also going to put this little card down on Tuesday because I need to get my oil changed. I was going to do this last week and they were closed. Um, they just did like a remodel so their entire shop was closed on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which happened to be Monday or Tuesday, the days I could do it. So I actually need to do it this Tuesday while we're in that town specifically. We have garbage and recycling on Thursday. We put it out. My fiance puts it out because I refuse to do it because it grosses me out. Which is slightly odd, but that's okay. I think that's all I'm gonna use for the time being on here. Actually, I'm gonna use one more. We're gonna do the recycling, and I want that done on Friday. So we'll do garbage Thursday, recycling Friday. And that sounds about right. I do have some other tasks that I'm gonna input in here, um, and some decorations that I'm gonna throw in as well. Um, I do have these little Starbucks circles, and you guys are going to think this is the weirdest idea ever. I get magazines mailed to me like no other. Seriously, every time I open my bell box, there's like two, three different magazines in there, and I don't subscribe to any magazines. Like, I don't have a subscription to a single magazine, but I get like Good Housekeeping, I get Oprah Magazine, Seventeen Magazine, I get Marie, K Marie Claire, uh, what else do I get? Um, I get like Vogue, I'm trying to like look over my shoulder at what I get, but I just get magazines on magazines on magazines and I swear some of these magazines publish like two a month and Seventeen Magazine sends me two a month. Like seriously, I'll open the mail and there'll be two Seventeen Magazines and Good Housekeeping. So what I've been doing is I've been going through and cutting out things that I think I might use my planner. They have a... I will show you. They have a Starbucks Refreshers ad in there, and I decided it might be a good idea to cut these out and cut out the little circles um, for days that I want to have like a special coffee drink. I, it's not something I purchase every day, but it is a nice little treat, and I usually pick it up on like Friday when I'm really tired and have a really long day ahead of me. So I just cut out the little circles, and I'm going to use double sticky tape, and I'm going to go ahead and lay them down. Um, I just thought that that would be kind of like a cute little thing to add to my planner. I also cut out this big butterfly from one of the, I think it was like Revlon or something ads. Um, they had these as decorations. They had a purple and a blue one, and the color goes really cute with this. I think it would be a great decoration. Like, look at that in the bottom corner. Maybe not in the top corner, but here in the bottom corner, I think that's adorable. And I'm going to put that there, um, and I'm going to use double sticky tape to do it. So 
I kind of just want you guys to know like you don't have to go buy stickers if you don't have the money to order stickers like this but you still want your planner to look pretty a lot of girls doodle a lot of girls draw um, I'm using clippings from magazines um, you can use stickers from the dollar store you don't have to order these stickers as inexpensive as they can be to some people to others it can be really expensive to spend $15 ordering a pack of stickers from someone online and the first time I saw the stickers I was looking at them and I thought like oh four dollars for a sheet that's not bad three dollars for a sheet that's not bad but if you get used to planning like I do with all these flags and all the whole boxes and eventually it can be expensive so little inexpensive tweaks like this I think are just I think they're golden I think they're adorable I think it's okay you do what you want to do with your own planner and don't feel like you have to make yours look like everybody else's um, I don't plan my plan with me is just so you guys can look at it and say like oh I wish I could do that or oh I need to go buy those stickers so I can plan like that or like the big planner girls, like if you look at Elle, Elle's planner spreads are absolutely gorgeous. She uses a ton of stickers and she even uses like custom stickers. And I watch those and I love them and it gives me good inspiration. I mean, it gave me the idea of doing the checklists all across the top. But if I don't have enough money to buy the checklists, I just draw in boxes, which I mean, I've done in the past. You can see I drew in boxes, even little colored boxes. You don't have to go out and buy stickers or you can buy the little dots from the grocery store or the dollar store or Walmart or whatnot just to make your own little check flags. I even just draw dots on. So don't feel like you have to go and purchase things. Take ideas like this where you cut something out and make it your own or you use colored pencils or crayons even to go in here and decorate. I just wanted to say that and get out of my system because I don't want people to feel like they have to buy the same stickers that we all buy when we do our plan with me's. There are alternatives like this that you can use to make it just as pretty. So I have that big butterfly that I wanted to lay down. This autumn's kind of bugging me though. I think I need a little bit more double sided tape. Um, they have double sided tape. I'm just using the Scotch permanent double sided tape. They also have like a roller that looks like these like whiteout rollers that are double sticky on the side and you can use those as well and they work really good too. Um, they also have like the little dots I've seen people use that are really good. Um, so, but that's a good idea, double sided tape. Also for full boxes, I don't know if I've showed you guys or I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but for a lot of the full boxes that I use in the past, um, for instance, like these anchors here, um, these, 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 pretty much every full box you see on this one and like this flower one, this one right here, these are my version of a full box and what I do is I buy these pads of scrapbook paper. They're at Hobby Lobby. They're $8.99 but almost every time I go there they're 50% off and they just have like sheets like this, like yellow polka dots. You can have the fabric. Um, blue fabric there. They have some like floral patterns and I just cut out little squares on here and then I double sided tape them or you can use a glue stick and stick them down. Um, I have like a floral one so like that would make a beautiful like full box pattern right here. Like I think these are gorgeous to do a floral spread. They also have, if I can grab one, they also have these um, adhesive ones and these ones are really neat. You can, they are like really a lot thicker, but you can peel this off like a sticker. I'll try and do it here so you can see. Ooh. Sometimes they work easier than other times. I think they make the corners hard to peel. Yeah, so you can peel it off like this and it's like tacky like a sticker right there. Um, and what I do is I take one full page of every pattern and I cut them to size using scissors and I also use one of these little like paper trimmers that you slide the blade across to cut like a straight line. I'm horrible at cutting straight lines, just ungodly terrible at it. Um, and this was I think like three bucks at Hobby Lobby and the books like I said are usually half off. And then like look how many squares that gave me, like full boxes. And these are just I think two or three of the books that I have. Um, two adhesive and one like non-adhesive. 
I haven't had time to do these two books yet um, to cut out full black squares from them. So I just cut like a big old square from it and then continue to trim it down to size until it's there. It can be kind of time consuming, but if you're sitting there watching a TV show, um, like I did, just sat there watch a TV show and just continuously cut them to size, it goes by really fast and then you have that many full boxes instead of ordering a ton of full boxes online. But I do like a lot of the full boxes. You can't get patterns like these sometimes, so. Just another tip or FYI for you guys or DIY for you guys. all I have are like a couple little task bubbles left and they're like chore tasks but because I have the to clean bar I don't really need the chore tasks um, I went ahead and put the bubbles the tabs I have some decorations across the top just little guys that I stuck around um, I have decorations on the sidebar here um, I put down these little tabs um, and this little finger and cool right there uh, just to give a little bit of pop or something different than the regular writing that I have so like always, I will go ahead and link all of the sticker, uh, sticker shops that I used and all the different, um, the different things I got around, like where I got my washi tape, where I got these other stickers that I didn't buy on Etsy. I'm also going to put a picture of what it looks like with all the writing in at the very end. So make sure you check that out. Um, I link down below where I got my planner. I also link where I used, where I got the music that I used. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I might not link, just comment it and I'll go ahead and answer. I've been really good about doing that. So make sure you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the videos that I do and you want to see more of them. Like I've been saying, I do have some beauty videos coming up. I'm just waiting for a couple things that I have to pick up. Um, I'm also waiting for good lighting, which I really, really need and I don't have. Um, I live in Wisconsin, so 
the lighting is very, very terrible. We have a lot of cloudy, rainy days. So I'm just waiting for that and I will be posting. If you have any special videos that you do want to see me do, go ahead and comment them and leave them below. I have some ideas, but I don't have anything concretely planned out besides that one. Um, if you want to see any tag videos, I was thinking about doing a TMI tag. Um, if you have any other tags that you want to see me do or you want to see me and my fiance do, perhaps the boyfriend does your makeup tag, which he's tried before and miserably failed at, so I think it'd be hilarious. Go ahead and comment and like that below. I really enjoy doing my videos and I hope you enjoy watching. Bye my lovelies. So I built all these walls I had a